what happens when there are different planets in the seven what i am talking is my experience the result can be good also the result can be bad also i am telling you general result now these results can turn into a good way as well that results can turn into a bad way as well that depends on how the planetary setup is secondarily the same result should be taken for aspect also if the planet is aspecting as well the same result will come to pass so talking of grahana adipati surya sun what it does in the seventh house according to my experience when sun is there in the seventh house there is a difference between the thinking of the native and the thinking of the spouse because of this particular reason when they go together somewhere it generally cause same to one or the other because they also come from different backgrounds they are not able to understand each other sun in the seventh house also indicates broken relationships divorce itself not only this generally the understanding between the couple is less and they don't try to understand each other along with this there are also ego issues issues pertaining to ego where they are not actually trying for the relationship to work but slowly slowly over time settle in their own lives and develop a habit of ignoring the life partner the influence of parents are much on this these marriages and in one way you can all say that it is parents who generally create problem into such marriages sun in the seventh house there is one more thing the spouse is generally either not beautiful in the traditional sense of the society and secondarily the spouse also does not like to you know dress themselves well or you know carry themselves in a good manner while they are with their spouse which slowly slowly puts this setup in the mind of the life partner that i am better alone this kind of setup is generally induced not only this when there is a uh, sun connected to the seventh house hair fall etc related issues the spouse may have may have the height of the life partner is also less and the physical compatibility between the couple is not very good as such all right with sun the, the there is a sense of disrespecting each other taunting each other also comes to pass right when the sun is positive spouse generally comes from a good financial and social background and it is because of the context etc of the spouse that the native gets famous in society reaches new heights when it is good the support of the spouse makes you achieve new things in life and by listening to the spouse you 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 can become more fortunate in your life also right so just the positive significations of sun is taken when moon is there in the seventh house the native is of flirtatious nature generally such people for the sake of getting favors as a financial favors professional favors etc go into illicit relationship with other people also with moon in the 7th house now you have to see if this is a powerful moon it gives a very beautiful spouse but if it is a weak moon this gives a diseased spouse also generally in this scenario the spouse is not diseased before marriage but because you have this particular combination after marriage the spouse will have health related issues the spouse is very attractive there are many people behind the spouse also who generally provoke them to be in relationship with them and not be in relationship with you which becomes an issue the spouse also have a very unstable nature and because of this particular reason what they promise and what they do is entirely difficult what we say in hindi kathni aur karne mein farak hota hai is the thing that they live up to is the problem that generally is faced when there is moon in the 7th house the physical feature at etc of the spouse is very seductive and the native himself you who is having this particular combination is also high expert in sexuality matters related to sexuality 
when there is moon in the seventh house generally in such scenario i have also seen that person can have a physical relationship or interest in having physical relationship with people in close family as well close family distant family also and it is generally because of friends that the marital life is disturbed and generally in such scenario there are rumors false allegations defamation to the spouse as well which makes the life difficult also not only this the spouse is also generally looking at multiple other options before marriage few options get a few options get broken at the last time and after marriage 3 4 years after marriage those options again those people whom the spouse have rejected before or somehow they were not able to marry before uh, try to have uh, you know a contact with them which becomes disturbing in marriage coming to moon in the uh, sorry coming to mars in the 7th house when there is mars in the 7th house it is generally indicated that there will be divorce in marriage which is not very true it is only afflicted mars which creates divorce in marriage good mars generally does not do that but in relationship rather than love care etc competition rationality being argumentative takes over and because of this particular reason rather than enjoying the marriage the life uh, the life is wasted in competing with each other when there is mars related to the 7th house the person who have mars in the 7th house is very much dedicated to their life partner however their life partner does not revert back the same favor does not do the same with them which leads to disappointment slowly slowly and then discourages you from doing anything for them in future when there is mars in the 7th house this generally indicates strong opinions in marriage it indicates a headstrong person who's who is not ready to compromise which can become a problem if the match making is not done properly along with this when there is mars situated in the 7th house and you somehow get married to someone who is younger than you then in that particular scenario maximum negative result of mars in the 7th house is taken care of is what i have practically seen in my own experience not only this when there is mars in the 7th house it is because of health issues etc that the enjoyment of marital life is obstructed and in a bad matching generally with mars in the 7th house what happens that no matter how much the couple tries spending time with each other becomes difficult because of professional commitments etc mainly this is the competitive approach in marriage which destroys maximum happiness when there is mercury connected to the 7th house it does indicate unit mercury is unit so it does indicate that sexual enjoyments in marital life are very limited physical intimacy is highly limited there are lot of talks that i will do this i will do that which is not realized in reality with mercury in the 7th house what i have generally seen is that the spouse before marriage was deeply interested to someone else because they were unable to marry they get married to you and because of this particular reason a constant comparison with another person happens which leads to miseries not only this spouse is very beautiful very skilled very famous and because of this beauty skill and famous there are many other people who also try to lure the spouse which becomes problematic in own, your own marital life also when mercury is there in the 7th house the morals etc in marriage is compromised and this is generally a setup where there is extra marital affair extramarital affair of the native can be said should be said not only this there are responsibilities which hinders your enjoyment of marriage some responsibility towards family some responsibility towards profession etc is there around which hinders the progress related to marriage and somehow because of the way you do things because of your behavior etc because of lack of communication there is misunderstanding which creeps in to marriage and slowly slowly 
with this misunderstanding spouse starts feeling that you are not giving them proper time you are not more interested in them which leads to a slow which leads to a slow cold loss of attraction towards each other which are, which then becomes problem in future when there is jupiter in the 7th house see strictly speaking by the concept of muhurta there is no planet good in the 7th house and empty 7th house is best planet in the 7th house will generally indicate a problem related to marriage this is a tried and tested fundamental when there is jupiter in the 7th house the spouse is very orthodox and because of this orthodoxy many a times problem with problem will happen if you have modern thoughts but having jupiter in the 7th house this will generally become a problem jupiter in the 7th house what i have seen that people stay together only for the sake of children only for the sake of sustaining the marriage only for the sake of family whereas deeply deeply either they start hating each other or are no more interested in each other at all such marriages are generally you will see are surrounded by bullying each other talking bad about each other right whereas love is feeding but generally in these marriages because spouse is very fortunate for you because after marriage you have progressed a lot in your life you don't break out of marriage jupiter in 7th house generally indicate a type of marriage which is bad but something that you cannot break or you don't have courage to break now see when there is no planet in the 7th house as i have already told you in the starting there is no pl planet in 7th house is not appreciated however when planets are aspecting 7th house that is best appreciated right i will talk about it by the end of the video in more detail along with this when there is jupiter in the 7th house somehow because of one reason or the other spending time with each other is difficult because of family commitment professional commitments etc and also in such relationships one person is doing a lot of effort whereas another person is completely ignoring them or are unable to realize the importance of the effort or unable to realize how much their partner is doing when they realize it it is too late and relationship have already turned cold which becomes a problem when there is venus in the 7th house it indicates high libido in the native though it gives a very attractive life partner but because the native is having high libido experimentation and sexuality is there this experimentation and sexuality native wants to do but the spouse will refuse it which will lead to disappointment this disappointment generally forces people to experiment outside marriage which leads to immoral relationships also when there is venus in the 7th house the spouse is very beautiful devoted etc as well but the native somehow cannot keep up to the standards of the spouse the promises that the spouse have made before marriage they are not able to fulfill it and because of this disappointments are there when there is venus in the 7th house there is a lot of family disturbance in marriage also which becomes a problem not only this when there is venus in the 7th house then spouse is more interested in their own life more interested in their own progress and they generally refuse to take out any special time for you or do anything special for you their approach is that whatever i do with everyone else i also do with you if you want to live with me be happy in this one on this much only or if you are complaining then i cannot help it this is generally their approach which later on becomes problematic as well when there is saturn in the 7th house generally people take saturn in the 7th house is bad which i don't think is Saturn is a planet of patience in that scenario though marital life have a lot of upheavals but because of patience and if the person also shows patience that is dependent on the ascendant slowly slowly everything is good in marital life however health problems are there to the spouse these health problems are not before marriage but happens after the spouse gets married to you because you are having this particular combination and because of this health issue spouse is not able to do their duties with complete concentration with 100% dedication devotion which later on becomes issue sometimes in this scenario because the life is unorganized the couple is not able to spend time with each other which gives gap to each other also when uh, saturn is influencing the 7th house then interests demands etc of the spouse is as such that you cannot meet and whatever you can provide them they are not happy with that so this also becomes an issue 
this is generally the negative result which happens when the planet is situated in the seventh when the planet is not situated in the seventh house but it is aspecting the seventh house in that scenario result can be good also result can be bad also that depends on how the planet is so when the saturn is good you should not say this result rather you should say the result that whatever you present to your spouse your spouse is very happy into it because of which the relationship becomes even more strong so I am basically telling you everything in a negative sense, which you should take in positive sense also when the influencing planet is having positive influence. If it is not having positive influence, then in that particular scenario, only negative results should be told and any planet situated in the seventh house is already bad. Hence, for that bad result, you have to say. Mars and Saturn, any of that connected to the seventh house also indicate physical, mental, emotional abuse in relationship, which becomes problematic. Saturn connected to the seventh house also indicates blackmailing, etc. To relationship, which is problematic. Saturn connected to the seventh house also indicates that the hopes, wishes, etc., related to marriage does not come to pass, which gives disappointment and makes the couple slowly, slowly detached with each other, which is not good for the sustenance and longevity of marriage. Generally, it is a setup where the responsibility <clears throat> after marriage takes over quite early, and the couple is not able to enjoy much with each other. The honeymoon period is quickly over, so an understanding never develops, and even small problems become very problematic, and the marital life is surrounded by unfortunate events, such as death of someone, <clears throat> financial problems, loss of job, etc., which further hinders the which further hinders the understanding between the couple, which later on becomes problematic. When there is Rahu in the seventh house, generally the person gets married to someone who was already engaged to someone, get married to someone who was already married to someone else. Secondarily, in the case Rahu is connected to the seventh house, unlike popular opinion, which tells you Rahu connected to the seventh house gets gives a corner response, which is not true. Rahu connected with the seventh lord does that, but that is only in the 80% cases, not 100% cases. Rahu in the seventh house generally indicates a spouse who is blackmailing, dominating to you. And because of the nature, behavior, character of the spouse, shame is felt. That is also when Mars is influencing the seventh house and Sun is influencing the seventh house because of the nature, character, behavior of the spouse, shame is felt. Right? Lack of dedication, devotion and only being with someone because you find that something better will happen or you think that if I get married to this person, people will perceive me better or my financial future will be better secure. You have got married to the partner. There is no dedication, devotion as such, which then becomes problematic. On a good aspect, when Rahu is positively influencing the seventh house in that particular scenario, the couple are highly dedicated to each other, dedicated to such an extent that when misery strikes on the spouse, your approach is that I should die, but the spouse should remain safe. Remain safe. So 100% dedication, devotion is there from the spouse, but a negative aspect is that no matter how much you do for the spouse, they never <clears throat> credit you or they never show any gratitude for everything that you have done. Even if you drink poison for them, they are like, why you did not drink it earlier? <clears throat> that kind of complaining attitude the spouse may have, which generally becomes problematic. Rahu in the seventh house, another problem is because of bad experiences before marriage, surrounding marriage, the native is generally disinterested in marriage. And to reinstall the faith in marriage is a little bit difficult, which comes after some time. And by the time this trust builds up, the honeymoon period is already over. So the couple never really understands each other, which then becomes problematic later on. When there is Ketu connected to the seventh house, uh, people generally take Ketu as a spiritual planet, blah, blah, blah. It is all useless thing. When there is Ketu connected to the seventh house, one thing is there for sure. If you quickly have child after marriage, it is very good. Otherwise, Ketu is very disastrous. Second point is Ketu in the seventh house. If you stay away from your family, it is very good. If you don't stay away from your family, then in that particular scenario, because of the uh, interaction of family into marriage, marital life becomes bad. The person gets married at a point of time, at a point of time when they are uh, not in a position to take new responsibility, but somehow they get married and there is a new responsibility that comes up and to cope up with this responsibility, they take a lot of time. And in this time, in coping up with the responsibility, the golden period of the marriage is gone and the understanding never develops between the couple. Right. So not, an, not development of uh, 
understanding between the couple is a result for many combinations, but it is because of different reasons in every case. Generally, when there is Ketu connected to the seventh house, it indicates more than one marriage. Or rather, you say the first choice is made mistakenly. You think that this partner will be good for me, but somehow this does not come out to be true, not because the spouse is not meeting the expectation, only, but because you realize that this was not the actual thing that you wanted. And later on, some affair happens where you realize that this affair I should convert in marriage, then you have hazardly tried to come out of your marriage and want to get married to the affair in which, depending on Ketu having strong combinations, one is successful also. And Ketu having weak combinations, one is not successful and lives a life, lives a suffocating life. Right. On the other hand, generally Ketu in the seventh house makes you highly disinterested from every partner after some point of time. And because of this disinterest, you are not able to give your 100%, which becomes problematic in the matters of marriage. When Ketu is in the seventh house, generally what happens, the love, care, etc. in marriage dies quite quickly. And people, if they are together, which is generally not the case, but if they are together, they are only together for the <clears throat> sake of the responsibility of children, for the sake of family, for the sake of society only. Right? So this generally happens once again, when there is a planet in the seventh house, the negative result of that planet will come for sure, because no planet is appreciated in the seventh house. But even still in that case, planet in his own Rashi eventually ultimately gives you good result only but this good result is ultimately and not in the first marriage at all planets influencing the seventh house by aspect can be either good or bad for that you should analyze the position of the planet and how they are in that position and only after that analysis result should be told it is best not to have any planet situated in the seventh house but only aspects over the seventh house which is the best setup for good marital life However, in the horoscope of female, if there is no planet in the seventh house, no planet aspecting the seventh house, this generally indicates a Kapurush. This generally indicates a husband who is completely dependent on you, who himself is not very successful in life and is dependent on your money, your effort, etc. for sustenance, which seems okay in the starting part of the marriage but later on becomes an issue because the spouse does not want to take responsibility spouse is just relaxing and blaming you for things hence all of the factors should be considered and all of the previous videos that i have made regarding marriage all of these factors should be considered and only after carefully judging the weightage of each factor the strength and weakness of every planet prediction should be made and just because of one particular combination you should not jump to a conclusion neither be afraid nor be happy